The Lord gave them bread from heaven. Beautiful story of the Lord raining down manna for the people in the desert. I want to share with you a modern day example of someone getting food from heaven. It's in the life of St. Miriam of Bethlehem, who was canonized by Pope Francis in 2015. She died in 1878, and she she was a Carmelite nun who um, grew up in Nazareth. And at the age of 12, she was at a family's house. She joined them for dinner, and the family was of another religion, and they said, you ought to join our religion. And she responded, she said, I'm Catholic, and I honestly hope to die in my Catholic faith, which is the only true one. And the husband went into a rage, and he cut her throat. And it was a mortal cut. And so he and his wife took her, and it says they took Miriam's body and threw it in a remote place, a sort of natural grotto. They just left her to die. And she had a a, a vision of heaven while she was dying. And someone said to her, Miriam, your book is not finished you're going to return to earth. And when she woke up, it says, a woman came up to her. Her clothing was totally unrecognizable to Miriam, very much like the habit of a nun. It was a magnificent blue color. She had an extraordinary gentleness about her and her presence delighted the heart of Miriam. Then the woman began to stitch up Miriam's neck. And it says, every day she appeared next to Miriam and cared for her like a good nurse. Now guess who this beautiful woman in blue was? Our blessed mother. And then it says, as Miriam began to feel her strength coming back, this lady brought her very special food, something she had never seen And Miriam says, it was a soup, but not a normal soup. It was a deliciously good soup. And and then it says, as children do in front. Now, at this point, our Blessed Mother never spoke to her. Miriam never heard her voice, so she never said anything yet. As children do in front of a delicious food, Miriam said to the lady, more. At that moment... For the first time, the lady let her voice be heard and said, Miriam, no, that's enough for the moment. And it's very interesting. This became a foundational teaching for Miriam that our Blessed Mother taught her. It says, our Blessed Mother told Miriam later, Remember, Miriam, don't act like other people who think they never have enough. Always be content in spite of what you may have to suffer. Then it says, Then the Virgin revealed to her that she would have to suffer a great deal in her life. And she insisted, Always be content. The Lord who is good will send you all you need. She explained to her also that in her life she must welcome everything as coming from the hand of God and that she must give thanks for every detail of her life. For Miriam, that remained a luminous, decisive teaching. This always be content would form the foundation of her personal happiness and the framework of her consecrated life. And St. Miriam is, is a real great saint, And we can learn from her today not to grumble, but to always be content.